chilling right now with, with Beat King, the club. What it do, club. what it do. Right here on Positive Progression TV, man. And we appreciate your time um, and just jumping on with us for a few, man, to talk about the social media sensation. Uh, well, you've been doing beats for a minute, though, bro. You've been you've been yeah. producing and writing for, for for well over a decade. So just talk to us a little bit, B King. You know about what's going on. Well, first off, let me just ask you: How's the family, man? Of course, we all been dealing with the pandemic, um, a lot going on. So just obviously, how have you been enduring um, um, this pandemic we're going through right now? I mean, I'm I'm pretty much handling it like everybody else, man. Um, you know, just trying to live life. Uh, you, you know, somebody uh, named Club God, you take the clubs away. I'm just living a purposeless life, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I've just been in the house, big chilling, recording, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, just doing it everything like, you know, everybody else, man, taking it one day at a time, you know, trying to be safe, uh, recording. Uh, I've right. been on these Zoom calls all day for like the last past month. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's a good thing. How convenient. That's a good thing. That's a you good know, thing. Of course, it's nothing like being there right in front of that audience and right in front of, but you're there in front of the audience, you know? Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 world, yeah. You know, no doubt. So talk a little mm -hmm. bit about, man, about your project, all right? And uh, obviously, you've been in a high uh, six and seven digits out there, man, and, and, and streaming. Um, and certainly, you know, it, it's, it's sweeping the world. Um, yeah, no yeah, Just yeah. Just talk to us a little bit about uh, that Den Leave, man, and some of your projects. I mean, for the most part, man, I've been doing it 10 years, man. Um, I have a lot of big regional hits from my um, my region, you know what I'm saying, that are big hits. And a lot of my songs have made it worldwide, but a lot of people just didn't know those were my songs, you know what I'm saying? but something about this one, it just connected. I guess it was the right song at the right time. Right. And this one is just going all the way to the top. I don't know many artists that's getting signed during a pandemic. I don't know many artists that got a hit song that grew no. during the quarantine, you know what no. I'm saying? So That's a blessing, brother. Yeah, you know, you know, it is a blessing. So yeah, straight yeah. up, man, they've just been climbing since then, man. Straight up. Right, right. And, and, and what goes into making that right beat, man, you know, yeah, and, and and you always hear about, you know, keep it young and keep it fresh. You know, yeah, man. Uh, you, it's so, all so about this uh, a little bit about your about the production work. The um I'm real Memphis influence, you know what I'm saying? Three Six Mafia is my favorite rap group of all time, you know. So when it comes to making beats, I'm always have a Memphis vibe to my beats, because I that's like my favorite energy, you know. But um when it comes to creating singles, I learned that simplicity is what really sells. You know, a beat that's as empty as possible that you can still get the point across. You know, so when I made the beats then leave, I knew the beat alone was a hit. I just need the right, you know, um, words to it. And um, I came up with the hook and I called Queen over to the house. I was like, man, uh, I need you to lay this hook down for me. And she did it and I liked it. I went to sleep, woke up. I didn't like it no more. I was like, oh man, it's cool, but it's not special. I called her back. I said, I need to come back to the house so we can put another hook on there. She came back. I said, man, all right, it's what we're going to do. I'm going to erase the first hook, but this time I need you to hum on the beat. Mm, mm, mm. And when she did that, I placed it throughout the whole beat. And I was like, all right, that's that's exactly how I heard it in my head. That's hard. I was like, all right, now instead of that first hook, I want you to say this. And I made her say a whole different type of hook. And when she got to saying that then leave part, I was like, this is going to be out of here. Now all I got to do is make sure I do my job on the verses. So I made the beat switch up on the verse. Doom, 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 doom. And I had to make sure I came. Bro, you know he, was, he was with, running with that beat right in the opening of that video, bro. <laughs> yeah, and, 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 and that was when I, when I heard what I said. I was like, I need to make sure the video, it connects right there. I need to make sure I'm humping that girl, how I'm humping her, everything is like that's <laughs> and that's what's driving it on social media. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's I say I need a cheap looking video. I want it to look cheap on purpose. A bunch of colors. Right. Like right. I know how to get the I'm a master in marketing. I know how to get the attention. You know what I'm saying? So, that's right. That's the name of the game yeah. marketing. You know, just what we're doing right now. You know, so it's yeah. it's no doubt, you know. And, and, and that whole production piece together, man, and all the all the girls and stuff came together. 
um, to do that thing. How long did it take to put it together? Probably all of three hours, man. Three oh, hours, wow. we, we was done with that video. Man, I've, I've been doing this long enough. I know how to get my ideas out real quick. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, that was a green screen video, so it didn't take a bunch of locations. We were standing in front right. of one wall. And we shot that whole video in about three hours. Yeah, people, you know, from a technical standpoint, you know, green screen does plenty of things. And uh, a lot of people may not understand that concept, you know, that green screen, but you can do a lot, you know. Yeah, uh, you can do a lot with green screen. All my ideas, I was able to get them out. Um, I told the director, I said, I want Queendom come. I want her head to be big and I want her to look like she ate my body. You know what I'm saying? And you can do whatever you want with green screen, whatever wacky cartoon idea you got, you can do it. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's so, right. yeah. yeah. And just some of your previous projects, B. King, just touch on that, bro. Uh, some of the people, you know, a lot of folks that you've worked with through the years um, that a lot of people didn't even know, uh, B. King, that you have worked with, man. Just rattle some of that off to us. I mean, um, Gangsta Boo, that's my big sis, you know what I'm saying, Three Seas Mafia. We got uh, two classic projects together. Um, people like Danny Brown, you know, people from Houston like Riff Raff. You know, I've done a lot of different things over the years, you know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, nothing as big as what's going on right now, but, that's right. you know, for the most part, I mean, I've done a lot of um, things that probably went under the radar. Um, a lot of my biggest songs, I produced them for myself. And um, they are real big songs in the clubs, you know, but um, like I say, a lot of my listeners didn't know that those were my songs they were listening to. Like my songs would come on in the clubs in Miami and people would go nuts and they don't know I'm standing there, you know what I'm saying? So like a lot of my biggest songs, like they're finding out now, like with all these new TikTok fans, like, a lot of these kids think I'm a new artist, you know, that's hilarious to me, you know what I'm saying? But it's, I like it, it's dope. You know, I get to, you know, shock them. Like I shocked people 10 years ago, so. You know, I could write the book, homeboy, on video treatments, uh, but that was lovely, I must say. So you call it a cheap video, but it's got a huge high impact. It was effective. It was effective. I know very exactly effective. what I was doing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very, effective. very nice. Very nice. And so what else we got to look forward to? That's the big age right now, but I know you got some other tricks under your sleeve there. Oh, yeah. Uh, Columbia got me working on an album right now, and it's going to be a lot of big features on it. Like, it's going to be crazy. Um, I don't want to speak on the features yet, even though they are locked in, you know. But um, I'll say this. Uh, then Leave will probably be the weakest song on there. Wow. Okay. Yeah, because okay. everything else going to so, be serious. So, like, it's, so it's you time to let everybody... You whole other level saying that, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 I mean, it's, it, it is what it is, man. Like, I, it's time to let everybody know, like, what's, what's going on now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like, what it is. So it's like, Then Leave is probably, like, the weakest song on it to me. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, y'all gonna see. Bananas, it's bananas, you know? But that says a lot, bro, coming from B. King. And, and your girl up in there, Queendom Come, you know? Queendom Come, that right? name, You know? Uh, honestly, um, <laughs> she uh, named herself that because of the regional hit we had in 2012. Is queen, but uh, there's already a legendary rock group named Queen. So when we had a song that charted in 2012, that became an issue. You know, they wrote her like, uh, "We are already Queen. <laughs> you have to be someone else." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's so right. She, That's right. Yeah. Right. So she had the name, had to cha change her name to uh, Queendom Come. So. Okay. All right. Well, it's all good, bro. The nice uh, mm -hmm. touch to it, nice visual. Enjoying that, bro. Continue success to you. Uh, we look forward to you, that man. project. Oh, absolutely, bro. Appreciate your time. No release date or anything on your project forthcoming, right? Not yet. It's called uh, Y'all Late because uh, all the TikTok fans, I think I'm a new artist, so I named it Y'all Late, but no date yet, though. Y'all Late, <laughs> there it is, you know? Yeah. And, and y'all are late, okay, if you're missing out. All right, on the Den Leave and everything else that's coming up, all right, on that project. So you want to look out yeah. for it, all right? We got uh, uh, a social media sensation, international recording star right here, B-King. 
Uh, already. The real club guard. Hey, man, so he's trying to build it. You know, so we're doing big things, all right, virtually right here on Positive Progression TV. And uh, B. King, you got to be safe out there in H-Town, bro, to you and the family. Oh, yeah. Already. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, we move, we, we moving right. <laughs> That's right. You know, we doing that, you know, that quarantine thing. But, you know, we making it happen. And uh, yes, 2020 has just been a devastating year uh, for a lot of us. Um, yeah, you know, yeah. A lot of sickness and death. And just speak briefly on that, bro, um, just from a political standpoint. You know, obviously, we know what we got to do and exercise our right to vote. No doubt about that. Um, so just speak a little bit, bro, on just the state of things and, and Black lives really do matter, you know? Uh, black lives do matter, man. You know, being from Houston, man, just Texas in general, I've experienced racism, like, a lot. You know what I'm saying? You know, so for the most part, man, you know, it, it's been a messed up year for, you know, you know, everything, man. You know, as far as black people, man, it's, you know, it's only thing you can do is try to live as pos positive as you can and, you know, go out and vote. I mean, even if you don't, you know, may not believe in, you know, either parties, you know, just, you know, try to, you know, view it as, as positive as you can, you know what I'm saying? If, if one is really bad, <laughs> you may not want to go that route. You know what I'm saying? Just, no, you know, we don't want to go that route. <laughs> yeah, you know, so it's, you know, I ain't going to send nobody who to vote for, man, but yeah. don't vote for the other dude, you know? So, so. <laughs> yeah, man, straight up. <laughs> yeah, bro, this is a change mm -hmm. in the time for sure in 2020. Well, thanks so much for your time, bro. Continue success. Keep doing your thing. All right. And we're going to be looking out for that project, y'all, late, you know. So we appreciate all our friends over there at Columbia. Definitely big shouts out to, to Tony Tone Wallace, uh, my close homeboy, and uh, all the folks over at uh, Columbia. And B. King, you know, definitely to you and your family, bro. Be safe out there. And, all right. Uh, you too, you. man. Yep. Thank you much, homeboy. And we looking out for that y'all late. Cause hey, 100, 100. We know it's coming. 